Hello guys, thank you very much for looking this video. Now I'm just going to show you how to apply eyeshadow and blush with the Photoshop. So let's get started. Now here is the picture what we is gonna go. So to applying eyeshadow is have a many way, but uh, I think the best way is just using the brush. So just let's begin. Firstly, just click the brush and and then just benefit the brush size. I mean, if the eyelid is very bigger, you're going to change into the more bigger size and just precise with the eyes. So personally, just resize the brush. It's too much bigger. Maybe, yeah, I want to do it quickly. And the hardness is 0% and then the mode is changed into soft light and the opacity is 10% so just keeping the opacity is 10% because it's gonna really natural if you uh, applying with really high opacity it's gonna really looking weird so just quickly applying the eyeshadow in the eyelid or the crease so just like this so continue just building the color little by little until they get really amazing color and really precise line. It seems like you're doing in the real makeup, I think. So just do it this with a many area that you want it. And yeah, here it is the result. See, it look more natural. And if you want to look really amazing, so just click a sharp brush tool and then keep the strength is 20% and go all over the eyeshadow is going to go today. So it's, it's really keep the eyeshadow look sh uh, like a shimmer eyeshadow and it's looking really, really natural. It's like you really using the eyeshadow after you get that you just if you want a more darker in uh, the uh, the the outer corner you can use this print tool make the brush size and exposure is 8 just do it like here and make the outer corner is more darker so it look like a smoky eyes yeah I know smoky eye by the YouTube channel <laughs> so just skip if you uh, if you already know how to apply makeup, you really easier to edit things too. So hopefully you read a mini tutorial about makeup, and yeah, here is the result. See, it's really amazing result. Here it is the before, and here it is the after. So it's really natural. Just don't forget to blend it well. Again, here it is the before and here this after so personally i'm just finished this look and more precise look why because i'm already applying um eyeliner false lashes um contact lenses so i'll just show you what the finished result about that and about um about false lashes i uh, i'm already have a tutorial about that so just click the link below. I put the link below about that tutorial. You can see it in that video. And then the contact lens, hopefully in next video, I'm just going to explain to you how all about to applying contact lens. So here is the final result. This is the before. And here is the after. It's pretty much better because I'm already applying the false lashes, lower lashes, apply white eyeliner in a waterline make it look uh, make the eyes look bigger and yeah just smoky the eyes so just put just put the contact lens in the eyes so here is the before and here is the after again here is the before and here is the after so that's a lot of different in this thing so just make 
be creative i mean just be creative what you want it you want a smoky eye whatever the color you want it and now we're just going to directly go into the this photo we're gonna editing the blush how to apply the blush so firstly just change the color that's similar to your blush maybe pink because i think that blush is also the pink so again just resize the brush that really make you easy to applying the blush so your brush is sold more bigger than your brush uh, than your eyeshadow brush before and the mode is hard light it's not soft light but hard light and the obesity is about 15 percent and just apply that blush in the cheeks in here don't too much overdoing like this because it's gonna really harsh we want a more softer look more delicate more natural yet and radiant so just like that and just resize the brush and then apply it in the other cheeks and now how to make your uh, blush is look really three dimension it's just like a contouring so just click the burn tool make sure the uh, exposure is eight percent so it's not really harsh and now just contouring in the cheek spoon in here slightly but sure so just like this i'm just making this contouring really harsh so you can really look what's the difference so here it is the result here, this is the before and now here this after she like uh, have a new cheekbones or whatever you can just make sure that you're not applying the blush like me because i just want to show you you uh, should to apply the blush more softly maybe just one coat or two coat is enough for applying the blush so yeah thank you very much everyone who watching this video and uh hopefully you subscribe read and comment my channel and if you have a question just comment below if you want i uh, editing your photo just comment below and thank you very much again for who watching this video and bye bye